Gentlemen, welcome back. You're back with MGTOW Money. I'm living my dreams, and hopefully you are too today. Today's topic is going to be why you're poor and always will be. Before we get to that, though, this, of course, is MGTOW 2.0. This is MGTOW Money. This is the second wave of MGTOW. This is all about actionable, practical ideas, things that you can do today to put yourself on a path to financial freedom and retiring early. Let's move on to today's topic, why you're poor and always going to be. Look, based upon some of the comments that I'm seeing, some of you are poor. And I'm I'm using that term loosely, and I'll define it in just a second. But you feel like you don't have a lot of money. And I'm going to talk about why you probably don't have a lot of money and why you probably never will have a lot of money and certainly never will achieve what would be considered a a rich lifestyle. And again, that's very unique, very personal to you, but a rich lifestyle, again, very unique, personal to you. First of all, if you're not a MGTOW, probability of you achieving a rich lifestyle is is low. I'm not saying impossible. Uh, Plenty of men, plenty of married men, have multiple children, etc., do very, very well, have great lives, etc. However, in terms of the probabilities, you know, the statistical probability, gentlemen, the odds are if you were a MGTOW, you have a much better chance of achieving what I would consider, what most people would consider, a successful, rich lifestyle. So I would urge you, if you are not a MGTOW, frankly, Forget this channel. If you're subscribed, please unsubscribe. Turn off this video now. Because frankly, the advice that I discuss in all the videos that I've done and will continue to do in the future are specifically geared toward MGTOW. Frankly, the advice that I would give a non-MGTOW man is not necessarily the same that I would give to a man who is a MGTOW. So there are specific things that I would recommend for a non-MGTOW, but I'm not going to get into those. Because this channel is MGTOW money, period, end of story, full stop. If you have other ideas, go on to do something else. Number two, the second reason why you're poor, and probably always will be, unfortunately, is because, frankly, you have a fixed mindset. And this is not easy to change, but you've got to be open to new ideas. Frankly, gentlemen, this is something I've had to force upon myself because I, I'm I'm the type of person who has a rather, as they would say, hard head. I have to have things drilled into me. I have to touch the hot stove to see if the warnings really are true that it's hot, unfortunately. I have to experiment on lots of different things and blow up lots of different things to find out if it's really true. If I mix these two chemicals, I'm going to end up with a bad, bad situation, unfortunately. Needless to say, though, again, I'm learning, and the most important thing that I've learned is the following. I don't need to be right. I just want to make money. That's right, gentlemen. I want to make money. And so, therefore, I have now a growth mindset, and I encourage you to listen to these videos with an open mind, even if you totally, completely disagree, even if you think that, hey, I'm going to get rich by running up my credit cards, by buying a large home, by having highly leveraged real estate, etc., that I, I, I'm going to job hop and I'm also going to uh, speculate in the Forex markets, etc. And these are great ways to make money, and that's how I'm going to get on my path to freedom. Fantastic. Super. If that's what you think, if that's what you believe, go right ahead. But I would encourage you, again, have an open mind to everything that I'm saying. If if you totally disagree with what I'm saying on various things, make sure that you can refute them. And I encourage you to refute them, not with your anecdotal evidence, but something more specific, more logical reasoning, statistical backup, etc. Please put them in the comments. Number three, the third reason why you're poor and probably always going to be is that unfortunately, and I perceive this a lot in some of the comments, is that for some reason, you feel like maybe you don't deserve it or or that you're lacking in confidence or taking another way, as I've mentioned in other videos, that there's some nobility in poverty, that you have some superiority over us, or, over people of any degree of wealth whatsoever. Gentlemen, I, I, I hate to tell you, but that's not the case. 
You have no superiority over anyone because of your financial condition. I have no superiority over you. You have no superiority over me. Warren Buffett has no superiority over me or you or anyone else or vice versa because of his billions of dollars. The reason why this channel exists relative to my perceived obsession, as someone had indicated in the comments, that I seem to be is obsessed with money, and that's all that I'm talking about, etc., is because, as I mentioned in a video before, to me, money is energy, and it's critical to have this energy if you want to be able to make lots of options and choices in life. I like, personally, to have a what I perceive as an easy life where I have many different options and choices in life, where I feel like that I'm not in a box, where I can do many, many different things and live, again, what I've said many times is unique for me, a very rich lifestyle. Being poor from my experience, and yes, I've had many episodes of being poor, and someone in the comment section actually asked, what do you mean by being poor, define being poor, etc., and agreed. Being poor is a relative statement. Let me just give you one brief episode in my past, fortunately, from many decades ago. Let me define being poor for you. Being poor for me was not knowing where I was going to live because I didn't have a, I didn't, didn't have a residence. I didn't have a place to live. Uh, I didn't have a car, so I couldn't even live in a car. And I had very little money. Uh, oh, and by the way, I had a live-in girlfriend at the time. So you put that mix together and you're a young person, it, it, you're, you're poor, frankly. Or at least I felt that way. I felt very, very poor. Now, for many of you, you may not feel poor if you had those exact same circumstances, but for me, I did. Needless to say, there is no nobility in poverty. I can't emphasize that enough. I know that some of you, evidently, based upon the comments, are living on literally less than it's a few hundred dollars a month, etc. God bless you. If you're happy with that, fantastic. If you feel like, hey, I've got a great life, I'm living good, this is fantastic, Superman, go for it. I personally know men who are living in rentals that are $100 to $150 US a month in various countries. Fantastic. If that makes you happy, you are achieving your rich lifestyle in your unique way. As I've said again numerous times, there's an infinite path to happiness. If that gets you to where you want to go, let me say, though, that I also, though, know many, many men who are living on, frankly, a subsistence basis, uh, let's just say less than six, seven hundred dollars a month, who are not very happy and they're not exactly living a what they would say as a rich lifestyle and they do feel rather constrained in their choices and options, etc. So, gentlemen, it's up to you. Ultimately, it's going to come back to you, and furthermore, you're going to have to decide the following, and let me quickly sum up. Number one, you're going to have to decide, I want to be a MGTOW, and I'm going to stay a MGTOW. Number two, I'm going to have a growth mindset, and at least I'm going to be open to some new ideas about making money, about paying down my debts, about leading a frugal lifestyle, and that I might be able to actually achieve financial freedom at a relatively young age. And number three, I can't emphasize enough, you're going to have to shift your mindset in terms of your thinking. I should mention, one thing that many of you might be afflicted by is the same curse that I had for some of my youth was getting this jabbering about money is evil, money is dangerous, etc., that is a curse. You've got to remove that from your mind. You deserve a rich life. You can do this. You can move forward. You can achieve early retirement at a relatively young age. It can be done. Don't take my word for it. Read the comments. There's plenty of other men who have done it or are clearly on the path to doing it and I applaud those men. Let me finish by saying, gentlemen, as always, thank you. We, of course, are building an international MGTOW army, and I need you to join me. And because we're moving this forward, I need you to share this on forums. I need you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. As always, John Galt, out.